Good afternoon. We are now 32 days away from the general election here in Florida on the day that we uh, record this, or more importantly, 32 days away from the election results. Like and subscribe, hate and comment. This is a quick five minute video on the three and only three amendments that we have statewide this year. Now, as I record this, of course, there's a lot of devastation in Southwest Florida that will definitely change up the race. And hopefully for the best, um, you know, that they make a quick and speedy recovery. Now, being 32 days out, normally there would only be three more days to register to vote in the state of Florida. Um, normally it's 29 days out, but because in the words of that great political scholar, Eric Hartman, in 1492, Christopher Columbus got us a day off school, which much like that episode, we no longer get a day off of school in this state. Really, I think it's an attack on Italians. He did some bad stuff, but he really did some good stuff too. But in Florida, we do treat it as a state holiday. And you get one extra day to register. So you have until Tuesday the 11th. Now, there are only three amendments on the ballot. And there are generally three methods in which a uh, initiative can get on the ballot. 60% of the state house and senate can agree to put it on the ballot. After it goes through a judge and decides that it's worthy, you can have a voter initiative with a certain number of ballots. And... Amendment number two, which we'll get to in a second. The First Amendment is an expansion of the Save Our Homes Amendment, which would say for the purposes of property value taxes, increasing the value of your home to protect things from flood should not be used to increase the value of your property assessed values. Now, there is a precedent in the state of Florida recently. We did expand the powers for things like solar power. Um, on your property to not increase the assessed value of your homestead. And this would be the expansion of it. There is pretty much no significant opposition to it and will likely pass. However, you do need 60% of the vote to pass any initiative in the state of Florida. And there are always people who are going to say no uh, to any amendment. Now, the second amendment is the only one that has any real level of controversy. It is to eliminate the commission that proposes amendments to the state constitution. Now in Florida, every 20 years, the next one up would be 2037, a 37 member committee comes together. They take a year to figure out all the things that they think should be included or not included onto the ballot. And then there's voter initiatives. They can pack amendments together. Normally that's not a thing in Florida. They can, they can do a lot of things. The amendment um, had overwhelming support from Republicans in the state legislature who usually actually agree with the method. The opposition is from a couple of Democrats and left-leaning groups who generally support it. They are in the method of bend, don't break the commission. Um, the biggest one being the Sun Sentinel, the arguably the most left-wing uh, mainstream newspaper in the state of Florida. Uh, from Broward County. Um, I assume it will pass because there does not seem to be a lot of opposition out there as of yet to anything else. And Democrats are struggling at the statewide level. There was a recent poll that had DeSantis up 11. And granted, it's just one poll, but that's a big poll. Even if he wins by five, that's a big margin. Rubio up by six in some polls. That's outside the margin of error. Um, Republicans will sweep the cabinet. So if Republicans get out there and vote, it, it's highly likely that the Second Amendment on the uh, ballot will pass. The third thing that is up for grabs is to expand the definition of the homestead exemption to get an extra 25000 to certain um, employment statuses. Um, first responders, cops, EMTs, and teachers bipartisan and there may there are some other categories in there unfortunately not nurses or doctors which would help out my family and me but that's another story um and how taxes work in the state of florida assessment values only go up three percent if it is your homesteaded property once you own it there are certain deductions that are taken off the top as well everyone gets twenty five thousand off their property certain seniors get additional certain vets get additional injured vets get additional and this is one of those things that would go to other categories. 
massive bipartisan support, supported by Republicans and Democrats. Only one state senator disagreed with it, and it was more of the, we have enough exemptions, I don't want to add one. Um, again, other than his opposition, I, I don't think there's going to be any major newspapers that are going to oppose it. And with the support the Republicans have right now, it's likely to pass. So likely all three amendments will pass. Very few amendments this time. Usually we have between five and ten, and this year it's three. So like and subscribe, hey, comment, and if you support or oppose any of these amendments, let me know.